Dendrarium Park in Chisinau, Moldova. It was founded in 1973 on the site of the former Botanical Garden of the Academy of Sciences of Moldova. At first it had an area of 73 hectares, currently it is 77.8 hectares. It is situated in the western part of Chisinau, in the valley of the Duralsti River, between the streets Ikriang, Vilupu, Isoka and Asiasafe. The architectural and planning style of Dendrari, is a landscape with insignificant elements of regular scenery. More than a thousand types and forms of woody plants are presented at Dendrarium. There are sectors with elements of forest vegetation in Moldova. There is a rich collection of vegetable seeds, oil seeds, rosacea, and others. The coniferous collection counts more than 50 names from different floral areas of the globe. Among the rare wood species for Moldova at Dendrariu are, Ginkgo biloba or pagoda tree, Mete sequoia, Canadian tsuga, Douglas fir, Arizona cipher, or bay, fir tree, yellow pine, flexible pine, stardust cypress, tulip tree, mono maple, maple trident, Japanese dung, etc. Based on Dendrari collections, new, promising species, including tree plant species for green spaces, are being studied, selected and multiplied. One of the scientific centers and the propagation of scientific knowledge in the field of botany, creation of green spaces and protection of nature. There are seminars, field trips, consultations for students, green field specialists, nature lovers, etc. Dendrarium is a park with a certain regime of attendance, it is a place of public pleasure. It is taken under the protection of the state as a monument of the configuration architecture, landscape. The first thing that astonishes the person who came here for the first time, is the feeling that he is infinite. If you walk along the park fence outside, you will never be able to feel it. And after the fence before your reins, a vast, well-planned space opens up, so you immerse yourself in an atmosphere of peace and harmony. Dendari is a place, which townspeople prefer long ago as a place of rest, walks. Here you can meet many excursionists who come in groups or individually, students of nearby schools, colleges, and students of the pedagogical university, with whom the park borders, come here to prepare for exams, seminars. I met several groups of foreign tourists who were strolling along the alleys of the park, and this is not surprising at all, because the Dendrological Park has long been and rightly in the list of the main attractions of our capital. Here is always quiet, the practical noise of the city is not heard in the park and you simply start to forget that you are in the city center. Even more surprising is that the park does not look like an artificial and built one, it is very organic and if you do not like the regular landscape of its central part, then you can enjoy the pleasure of a more wild landscape, the view of the park's edges, have not been touched by the hand of man, and everything seems very natural and unexplored. The park is greatly lighted by the lake located in one of its corners, especially the Duralsti River, which passes through the bottom of the park, with several bridges thrown over it and everywhere you can see people working peacefully and quietly, taking care of lawns, flower gardens, flower beds, shrouds. They are also part of this landscape, fitting perfectly into it, and reminding us that this beauty was created with the hands and hearts of men. We need to thank all those who maintain this magical place in perfect order and give us the opportunity to communicate with nature and steer our attention away from daily agitation right from the door of our house. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.